Welcome to the technical studies. Here's a list of 20 common piping engineer interview questions and their suggested answers tailored to help you prepare effectively. What are the main responsibilities of a piping engineer? Designing, analyzing, and detailing piping systems, preparing material specifications, ensuring compliance with codes, supporting construction, and coordinating with other disciplines to ensure project success. What codes and standards do you follow in piping design? Commonly used codes include ASME B31.3, Process Piping, ASME B31.1, Power Piping, API, ANSI, ASTM, and ISO standards, depending on the project and region. What is pipe schedule? The pipe schedule refers to the wall thickness of the pipe. It affects the internal pressure capacity and is designated by numbers, example, schedule 40, schedule 80. A higher schedule means thicker walls. What is the difference between pipe and tube? Pipe is specified by nominal diameter and schedule. Tube is specified by outer diameter and wall thickness. Pipes are used for transporting fluids. Tubes are often used in structural applications. What is the difference between NPS and DN? NPS, nominal pipe size, is the North American designation in inches. DN, diameter nominal, is the international metric equivalent in millimeters. For example, NPS 6 equals DN 150. What are the types of piping supports? Primary supports, hangers, clamps, shoes. Secondary supports, guides, anchors, snubbers. They control pipe movement due to thermal expansion, vibration, and pressure. What are common piping materials? Carbon steel, ASTM A106, A53. Stainless steel, 304, 316. Alloy steel, P11, P22. HDPE, PVC for non-metallic systems. Selection depends on fluid, temperature, and pressure. What is a P and ID? Piping and instrumentation diagram, a schematic that shows piping, instruments, valves, and control devices in a process system. It's used for design, construction, and operation. What is the function of a control valve in piping? To regulate flow, pressure, or temperature by varying the size of the flow passage in response to a control signal. What is hydrostatic testing? A pressure test, where water is pumped into the system at higher than operating pressure, to check for leaks and integrity of welds and joints. What is the difference between stress and strain? Stress is the force per unit area, n per m squared or par. Strain is the deformation, change in length divided by original length, a dimensionless quantity. How do you handle thermal expansion in piping? Use of expansion loops, bellows, expansion joints, and flexible supports to absorb expansion due to temperature changes. What is the role of a piping isometric drawing? To provide a 3D representation of the piping line, showing lengths, fittings, elevations, and supports used for fabrication and construction. What is slug flow? A two-phase flow pattern where liquid and gas phases alternate in slugs. It's critical to consider in pipeline design to prevent damage from pressure surges. What are the common types of valves and their uses? Gate valve, on or off, low pressure drop. Globe valve, throttling. Ball valve, quick shutoff. Check valve, prevent backflow. Butterfly valve, light duty flow control. What is pipe routing? Designing the optimal path of the piping system to avoid clashes, support loads, allow maintenance access, and meet process requirements. 
How do you ensure safety in piping systems? Following design codes, performing stress analysis, using correct materials, ensuring proper welding procedures, conducting pressure testing, and routine inspections. What software tools are you familiar with? AutoCAD, Plant 3D, PDMS, E3D, Caesar 2 for stress analysis, Navisworks, Smart Plant, and PDS, depending on the project. What is the importance of line numbering in piping? Each line is uniquely identified with a line number that provides information like pipe size, service, sequence, insulation, and class. It ensures proper tracking in drawings and material specifications. Thank you for watching.